In this video, we will answer the question, why is the derivative of the area of a circle equal to the circumference of a circle, where the area equals pi r squared and the circumference equals two pi r. Beginning with the area forming the first circle, let's determine dA dr, or the derivative of a with respect to r, which we can also denote a prime of r. To find the derivative, we need to apply the power rule of differentiation shown here, and therefore the derivative is equal to pi times the derivative of r squared with respect to r, giving us pi times two r raised to the power of one. Simplifying, we have dA dr, or a prime of r, equals two pi r, which is the circumference of a circle. So the question is, why is this derivative equal to the circumference? Let's first review some notation. Differential a or dA describes the change in the area. Differential r or dr describes the change in the radius. And therefore, dA dr, or a prime of r, describes the change in the area with respect to the radius. And now beginning with a circle with radius r pictured here in blue, let's consider a small increase in the radius of the circle. Let's say this small increase here. We can label the change in the radius, or this thickness, differential r, and now the area of the red ring represents the change in the area given differential r, a small change in the radius. To determine the change in the area, we can determine the area of this ring by cutting the ring and unrolling it, which forms this long rectangle here, where the length of the rectangle is equal to the circumference of the circle, which is two pi r, and the width of the rectangle equals the change in the radius, or differential r. And because the area of a rectangle equals length times width, the area of the red ring is equal to two pi r times differential r, which again represents the change in the area, and therefore we have differential a equals two pi r times differential r. From this equation, if we divide both sides of the equation by differential r, we have dA dr, which is equal to the derivative of a with respect to r, equals two pi r, which is the circumference of the circle. So the derivative of the area of a circle is the circumference. Increasing the radius will result in an increase in area proportional to the circumference. Now I do want to mention this is an informal discussion as to why the derivative equals the circumference. If we go back up to the original circle, when determining the area of the red ring, which represents the change in the area, there is really an inner radius and an outer radius, where the inner radius is r, and the outer radius is really r plus differential r. Remember, where differential r is the change in the radius. And therefore, when we cut the ring and unroll it to form this rectangle here, one length is two pi r, but the other length is really two pi times the quantity r plus differential r. But because differential r is very, very small, we are treating the two opposite sides of the rectangle as two pi r to determine the area of the ring. I hope you found this helpful.